Here he is, live in the flesh, four-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-American, Derek Johnson. I saw you getting excited watching those old highlights, fist pumping, clapping your hands. How you been? Been doing good. Been doing good. I'm back in Austin, so enjoying it. I know you were with the Raiders earlier this year, right now kind of surveying the landscape. Yes, I, I was, but uh, a couple weeks ago uh, I got released, so uh, I'm back in Austin working out. Uh, hopefully a team can pick me up uh, on a playoff run and uh, – That'd be, a, that'd be a good look for me. That that'd would be, be nice. Well, well, I was just looking at those highlights. It was one of them, them plays you used to set me up. <laughs> and y'all don't know this. He used to tell me, Nickel, when I say go, go take on the fullback, and I'm going to go get the tackle. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. one of those plays, you you he got me headed to concussion <laughs> protocol and everything. You know what I mean? Well, hey, you were such a good player to, to, to you know, uh, nap for getting to the ball. I was... At least give me some couple of tackles where you take on the block and let me go get some shine real quick. Because <laughs> when you me. came when you came on board, it was like, golly, I gotta I gotta share my shine a little bit. I gotta well, share well, my shine. the one shine. thing I want to ask you is, you know, and being that 14, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. How like how do you do that? You know, that's pretty much unheard of. You know, to get past three and then get to 10 and now you know double digits. How how do you do that? You know what? You gotta take care of your body. You gotta take mm -hmm. care of your body, and uh, um, uh, you, you gotta stay easily motivated. Uh, regardless of how much success you're having in the NFL, um, there comes a time where you got to have some grit about you. Things are not going to go your way, but you got to push through. And the mental toughness has to push through. And uh, uh, thank God I, I had that mental toughness. And I, I got through some times uh, in KC that uh, propelled my career to, to, to be pretty successful. And I, I remember coming in and uh, watching you play and watching you, you know, finishing up high school. And uh, one thing I remember is for some reason, when you were around, the ball was always flying out. You know, I, I, and I, I'm, I'm curious, is that something that you intentionally worked on or was it just something that happened the way you naturally played? Were you, were you ball hard? I mean, were you intentionally trying to strip the ball? You know what? Uh, it was, a, it, I was very intentional about it. Anything you do, if you're gonna do, be good at it, kind of got to be intentional about it. And uh, I used to do it during practice all the time, knocking the ball out, stripping it out. And I did it in the first game, I've seen year, did it a couple times and I'm like, Man, it's coming out. Like, I'm getting there and stripping the ball out, chasing the guy down. I'm like, every game I started doing it and got like 10 in, in, in my last year at Texas and got a record for it. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. Man, that's a huge thing. When you, <laughs> I mean, that's, those are big play swings when you, when you got the ball flying out and causing turnovers. You Definitely. talk about being, being intentional. Last week against Tech, Texas DBs, both the corners had, a, had a strips like that. And, and to me, my sense is it's something they, you, they must be working on in practice. So talk about how important turnovers are for a defense. Well, you, you, you got to uh, – turnovers are huge. Turnovers are huge. If you want to do anything great on defense, turnovers it has to be a part of it. And uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, offenses, they, they do their thing and they, they, they uh, make touchdowns here and there. But at the same time, uh, on defense, they're going to – the way the college are, are set up now, they're going to make plays here and there. They're going to have yards. They're going to have three and 400 yards. But when you get a turnover – you can kill that momentum right now, yeah. right now. And that, that's what happened last week. Even though everybody says everything about uh, Lil' Jordan's catch, that was great. But in order to set them up and get them in that position, there was a couple key moments in there where that, that ball came out to give uh, Texas a little more momentum. I mean, yeah. I, I've, been, I've been saying it all year. Earlier in the year, Texas playing great defense. It was because of their ability to create turnovers. They stopped creating turnovers. Those yards start to pile up, it, and it, it looks bad. But it, a, a, a timely turnover can, can turn a game around. Exactly right. Exactly right. Texas 13 and 5 under Tom Herman when they force a turnover. DJ, what do you make of this Texas defense this year and really coming down the home stretch? I know they've been struggling, some of it due to injuries as of late. Well, like we were just saying about turnovers, you got to create more. How do you create more turnovers? Get more people to the ball, get more players around the ball. And, and man, this is the ultimate team game. I mean, when the offense is out there scoring touchdowns and doing their thing, that gives the defense more confidence to get out there and do what they do. But, man, I tell you what, with those young players they have, especially with Gary Johnson in the middle, uh, he's a guy that's uh, maybe a little undersized, maybe six foot, 220, 225, but a guy that can run sideline to sideline. I think it'll be key for them tonight to use him big into uh, getting in the backfield. Do you talk to him at all? Give these guys any advice? I do, I do. Uh, Gary's a guy that, that hit me up uh, all the time. He texted me, what's up, big bro? Uh, how, how'd you like this play? How, how you think I did on this? And, and I'm always honest with him, you know, uh, being a, a, a former linebacker at Texas, uh, uh, 
to see him run around like he does, it's not, it's not they, that old saying, it's not the size of the dog, it's the, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Gary Johnson is just that. How would you like to be playing linebacker in the current modern day edition of the Big 12 and these offenses that are coming at you, know you every what? week? I do not look forward to that at all. <laughs> you know what? We only had that one one time a year, and that was Texas Tech. Yeah. Texas Tech's been doing this forever. And I, I had good games against Texas Tech, but trust me, I do not want to get spread out. And I, I like eye formation. Give me a power here and there. Give me some zone runs. But uh, this spread offense, man, that, that's why they score so many points and so many yards are out there. So what does it feel like to be back in the stadium? we got a segment coming up uh, today about our favorite memory mm -hmm. for, at DKR. What, how's it feel? Man, it feels great. It feels great. Whenever you, I always tell people, whenever you walk out of that tunnel and you, and you put those horns up, I mean, and, and you're jumping up, hyping up uh, with all your brothers, the brothers you sweat blood and tears with, man, it's a special feeling. It's, it's a family atmosphere here at the University of Texas, and it, it'll last for a lifetime. So every time I have a chance to come here and step on, the, step on that grass, it's a special feeling. Yeah. What's the most memorable moment that you had being here? Probably, uh, man, you know what? Uh, Winning against Michigan, winning against Michigan, and uh, that wasn't here at DKR, but uh, that was a moment that uh, that solidified us to next year. I wasn't here, but win the national championship. But I feel like we all are a part of that, just because uh, uh, when you finish off the season great, it's more momentum, it's momentum into the next season. But I got a lot of great memories here at. Here at and, and I was saying, you, you set the tone. <laughs> you set the tone from the following year. You know, you had guys like Aaron Harrison, them guys that realized the big shoes that we had to fill that yeah. very next year. So I would say on my bottom heart, I really appreciate it because you did set me up, but you did show me how to play the game of football. <laughs> I appreciate that, my brother. I appreciate that. And we appreciate you stopping by, DJ.